The Clockwork Three is an adventure story about three children at the turn of the century who are all brought together by an enchanted violin, a hidden treasure, and an automaton that comes to life. There's Giuseppe, who is forced to play music on the streets to earn money. There's Frederick, an orphan who is an apprentice clockmaker, secretly working to build an automaton. And Hannah, who because of her family circumstances, needs to work as a maid in a grand hotel where she learns of a hidden treasure. The lives of these three children are soon swept up in a great adventure. The Clockwork Three was partially inspired by uh, true historical events. I've always loved history, and one day I stumbled across the story of a boy that the newspapers of 1873 named Joseph. Joseph had been kidnapped from his home in Italy and brought to the United States where he was forced to uh, play music on the streets to earn money for his master, his padrone. Joseph endured years of abuse and neglect uh, before one night um, he mustered the courage to try and escape. And his courage is part of what inspired the character of Giuseppe in The Clockwork Three. The city in which The Clockwork Three takes place is, uh, it's not a real city, it's, it's a city I created. Um, but parts of it were inspired by real places. I think there's a bit of Boston in it. I, th I think there's a bit of New York City in it. Um, but mostly I just drew a map and then I sat down and I explored the city with my characters as they went through their stories. I think as authors, uh, to a certain degree, we all write for our inner readers. And I think my inner reader is about 12 years old uh, because the stories that, that come to me, the stories that inspire me that I want to tell, I think are stories that would also appeal to a younger audience as they appeal to me.